everyone, so the first thing I'm doing as always is priming the eye area. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion today and this will just make sure that the eyeshadows that I'm about to apply will last all day long and that they will appear nice and vibrantly on the eyes. Now I'm taking a felt tip liner pen and I'm mapping out the shape of my winged liner. I'm doing this now to get it out of the way. I'll have a guide as to where to blend my shadows in from later on. And then all I have to do is to fill in the blank and it saves me some hassle. I'm going back to my beloved Naked Cherry palette today and I'm creating a deeper look with it. I have two other tutorials using this palette which I'll link below if you haven't seen them. But the first shade I'm taking is called Feels and I'm using this as my transition shade. So I'm placing my brush down just on the tail and then I'm blending across into the crease. So I'm just applying a light wash of this shade along the eye area firstly to begin with. And once I've gotten that colour on the eye I'm going back in reapplying and building up the intensity. And I even think the shade worn alone with some liner would look lovely particularly for the springtime or I suppose Valentine's Day is coming up next month and it would work well for that as well. Now I'm using a small bullet shaped brush to apply that same shadow down along the lower lash line. It takes little to no effort to blend these shadows, they do so with ease which I love. Now I'm picking up the darkest shade in the palette called Privacy and I'm using the double ended brush that comes with the palette to apply this shade. I'm starting by patting it down on the outer third of the eye and once again I'm sweeping that shadow across into the crease and I'm using a mix of windshield wiper motions and back and forth sweeping motions to fade this shade. Then I'm buffing the brush that I used previously around the edges of the look with some more of that shade feels just to make sure that I fuse the two shadows together. And then I'm building up the intensity of that privacy shade and to do that I'm flipping my brush around and using the small dense side to reapply some of that shadow. Because this brush is smaller and the bristles are more compact I'm getting a better colour payoff than before because a fluffy blending brush will apply less shadow. So now I'm just running that shadow down along the lower lash line and then I'm moving on to cleaning up that lid space now. So I'm using a concealer, one that's full coverage because I have some dark shadow on that inner half of the lid. And I'm not applying this above my natural lid space because I literally just want to brighten this area, nothing fancy. Now I'm taking the shade Turn On on a small flat C shaped brush and I'm adding some sparkle to the lid so I'm just adding this on the inner third of the eye. Then I'm taking the shade next to it called Ambitious and I'm picking up some of this shadow on a C shaped brush too and I'm adding it right next to that Turn On shade. And you could spray your brush with some water or a setting spray to really make these shadows pop but I find using them dry works well too. I'm going back in now and adding some more of that privacy shade in the crease just to clean up that area in case any of the metallic shades happen to transfer up there. I want to keep that area nice and matte and then I'm taking my liquid liner and I'm literally just filling in that outline that I created earlier on and it takes little to no time to do because I'm just filling in the blanks and I rarely make mistakes when I use this method. Now then I'm adding some Kiss Lashes, these are the Midnight Lashes, they're really really flattering on. Once I've got those firmly stuck in place then I'm switching to a pencil liner. So I'm using this Cold Pencil by number 7 and I'm just running this on the inside of the eye, lining the waterline so it's nice and black. And then to brighten up the inner corner of my eyes ever so slightly I'm going in and adding some of that Hot Spot shade just around the tear duct. To finish off the look then, I'm taking some mascara, anyone will do because I'm just using it to blend my own lashes in with the false ones. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know and I'll chat to you soon.